I got these uh, crap eyewear sunglasses. Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark. Mark Boudelier. And today, we have, you know, what I thought was going to be a mini pickup haul, but is actually a pretty, uh, pretty normal pickup haul. So... We're going to get into that. Um, I'm also going to maybe call it like a low-key brands something or another because there are a few that I would uh, put into that category. Shake it up a little bit from your normal pickup haul, I guess, even though it's pretty much a normal pickup haul. But uh, before I break into the pieces, if you're new here, hi, welcome. Subscribe. And hit the push notification bell so you know when our next video will be. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into it. And we're starting off with an absolute mega banger. We have these Carhartt pants. Woo, nice. Very, very nice. Groundbreaking pants right here. It's the Carhartt work in progress, single knees um, in like this white color, or I don't know if it's off-white or white. They've been worn in, so they don't seem like they're like super stark, I guess, but uh, Still pretty white, and I don't know. I like them. They're a good everyday pant. I got them secondhand. I don't want to go on forever about these because, frankly, I'm not super big into the whole like Carhartt thing necessarily. Um, but I do think it's good for just like casual, like everyday wear. Um, so there you go. Um, next up, I do have some vintage pieces, and there's like other stuff like behind me right now. But I do have some vintage pieces to show. I recently did like a trade-ish kind of thing um, with my homie uh, Jason Lee, and he has the uh, vintage page Two Fold B on Instagram. Super good curation. Um, I definitely recommend checking uh, his page out. But this is just one of the items from it. I have a couple more back here. Um, it's this like cohesion, cohesion, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, super nice thick wool sweater. It's got some moose on it, some meese, however, you know, you prefer to say it. Uh, great little, great little Christmas sweater, great little fall sweater, whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm happy with it. I thought it was cool, but uh, we shall continue. So here's where we get into the, I guess, underrated brand portion of it, I guess. So we have these Wales Bonner jeans. I definitely would say that uh, Wales Bonner is one of those brands that has gained a lot of traction over the past little bit, um, but makes super awesome stuff. These are a pair of like denim cargo jeans, something like that. They have this ginormous cuff at the bottom, which I think is pretty cool. Just like your traditional blue, and then it has like this crocheted waistband. Um, just a really nice take on a pair of denim. I traded them with a friend, and uh, so far, so good. I've been pretty happy with them. Uh, I've been wearing them quite a bit. I got them yesterday, so when I say quite a bit, I mean I wore them yesterday, so yeah. Uh, now let's get into some other stuff, more, more uh, underrated brands, if you will. We have this lovely gray single Pringle tee from a brand called Somar. If you are not familiar, that is Owen Hyatt's brand. If you're not familiar with Owen Hyatt, then I'm honestly surprised you're subscribed to my channel because his is absolutely lovely. I've been watching him for years now. And um, yeah, so he sent over a few pieces which I think are pretty awesome. Um, we have this t-shirt here. Like I said, it's like single stitch throughout and then you saw kind of like the, the back print along with the little seam down the middle. Um, he also sent... Uh, we also have this pair of pants. It's like a uniform type of, I think the whole collection was meant to be kind of like a everyday uniform, which is a pretty cool concept in itself. But we have this lovely pair of pants. It looks like your normal average pair of black pants. And then you get to the bottom where it has like a slight bit of a flare as well as like this like almost overlocking like detail sort of thing at the bottom, which is super cool. Um, and then we also have this like leather patch on the back. Another very nice detail. They fit really nice. I'm like a true 29-ish waist and I got to a 28. 
And I will say that I feel like the 30 may have been a little bit better, but um, they still work. Nice high rise to them. But definitely if you're kind of in the middle, I might would go on the higher end just to be safe. Um, but yeah. All right, so this is probably my favorite piece from like the collection, I guess. Um, it is like the work jacket. And it's just a really great everyday jacket. Fits really well. Nice like middle, like mid weight to it. Has the front pocket. It's got a little side pocket as well. And then my favorite little detail is like the sleeve, similarly to the pants bottom. Um, it kind of has like that same like overlocking type thing. And yeah, just a great everyday jacket. But we shall continue. All right, cool. So next up we have this like fleece jacket from a brand called One DNA. They specialize in making like gender neutral clothing and it's all, you know, very nice stuff. So this is just like a quarter zip fleece. Uh, very, very soft, very warm as well. I'm not typically someone who goes for like an O-ring, but I will say that is a very, very high quality zipper. It's not a YKK, but it definitely feels like a really, really nice one. It's a satisfying zipper. So I'm pretty into it. It's got a great like cropped kind of fit to it. It's just a good everyday like little throw on. It's not something I necessarily like, um, I haven't like thrown any like crazy fits in it. It's more so like a, oh, I need something to quickly throw on and it just kind of, just kind of right there. So good stuff. We'll continue. So now we have these pants. Um, I don't know if I've shown these before or not. Um, I know I've talked about the brand Older Brother on this channel, but um, they sent me these pants as well. Um, I think I reviewed like their spring summer stuff last time, but these pants are super cool. They're like a natural dyed, um, kind of a work pant type of type of vibe, and then they have this like waxed panel at the bottom. I have to cuff them because I'm a short king, and yeah, the big old button on the front, nice little silhouette to them. Um, I'm a fan. And there's not much else to say, so good stuff. Let's do shoes. Um, so, we got the uh, corset derbies. Currently not with a corset on it, but uh, these are from a brand called Rotten Closet. If you're not familiar, definitely go check them out. Um, it's ran by my buddy Ryan, and he has been killing it. He's done some button-ups, he's done these shoes, and I think he's got some hoodies on the way. Um, but these are fantastic, a really great everyday shoe. They're comfortable, they're easy to wear. I should have brought the corset part downstairs. It like wraps around the shoe and then zips up. I'll flash a photo or something, but yeah, no, they're really nice. And they got this very thick, robust heel, which gives a lot of extra height. Um, yeah, I would definitely say this is like one of the best derbies you can buy at a good price. Um, I want to say he may still be doing a pre-order, not really sure, um, but yeah, you can go check out his Instagram and see for yourself. Um, and then we'll show one more little sneaker. So we have these uh, Stephanie Workers Club sneakers. I don't know if I've shown these on the channel yet. Um, just a really, really great regular white sneak. Um, it's got a kind of a luxe feel, like it has a similar as a familiar silhouette, and yeah, I like them. They're cool, I wear them a good bit. Heavy weight, all that. All right, we'll go back to the vintage thing for a hot minute. We got a couple more jackets here. So we have this lovely wool plaid flannelly jacket thing. Um, again, talon zip. Again, it's from Two Fold B. And yeah, this one's just like super gorgeous. It is very reminiscent of something that I feel like a like designer brand would put out now, which is something I appreciate. Like I feel like this would be like a reference piece for a lot of brands. Um, and yeah, it's just cool. I like it a lot. I do feel like the silhouette um, could be a little bit better. Like it's kind of has like a slightly awkward slimness to it as well as like a little bit of a uh, longer length than I what I usually go for. But I still think it's like super workable and it still is gonna be like one of my most worn jackets, I feel like. Um, kind of itchy, kind of smells like an old guy, but uh, we love it. All right, this one, I don't know if I would refer to them as a low key brand, but I do think I would refer to them as an underappreciated brand. Um, it's this engineered garments, like poncho in a sense. Um, and it has like this, uh, 
it like buttons up over on the side, which is kind of a pain in the ass to put on. But once you do have it on, it's pretty great. I got this proxy to me um, via the sample sale that happened in New York shortly after I got back from my trip, actually, which sucks that I missed it. I would have loved to see kind of everything in person, but I'm glad I was able to get this as well as a few other items that um, were just kind of like some basic pieces that didn't show in this. But um, yeah, this one is really cool. I remember it being relatively cheap, and that's what matters. So good stuff. Um, all right, next we have quite possibly one of my favorite uh, pieces in this whole little haul here. It's this Libero uh, jacket right here. I believe it's like the Lay Mans, Lay Mans. I don't know how to, I'm not fancy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but it's this beautiful jacket right here, fully wool. We got this leather, cream leather stripe down the, down the front of it, as well as this Lovely Riri zipper. Let's. <laughs> gotta love that. You gotta love that little ASMR moment. Um, but yeah, just a beautiful color, beautiful silhouette, beautiful construction. I've said silhouette too much, so I need to I need to stop doing that. You know, it's kind of kind of cringe. Anyways, um, good jacket, really nice. I've been wearing it a good bit, and it's just a very great like going out jacket or daily driver you know it's a good good little fall winter item so definitely go check out Libero They're based out of Canada which is cool and we'll finish it up with a vintage little funny jacket here we got this Girl Scout jacket it's from the 70s and it's got a bunch of patches all over the back which is pretty unique in itself I don't know man I thought it was cool Slap a Bodhi tag right on the front of it, and uh, this thing is selling for 1500 on Grailed. No, but this was also in the two-fold B-Haul, which is cool. I've already worn it. I've already flicked up in it and everything. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to maybe see a fit pick in this or something, go follow me at Mark underscore Boudelier. Anyways, um, that is it. That's all the items. Um, you know, you know how the pickup the pickup videos work. I uh, gotta do one every now and then, but uh, a lot of talking, a lot of talking. Um, I hope these pieces tickled your fancy. <laughs> I hope these pieces tickled your fancy and I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Let me know what piece is your favorite. Um, if you have any underrated brands to kind of suggest to the next person, leave them in the comments below. Um, and yeah. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, until next time. Baby, I've been losing on my mind. I got a time it. I'll be on my own. Baby, you ain't got the time yet. I'll be honest. I'm going to be where 